Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Before the 2016 election, smirking Barack Obama looked into the cameras and promised Americans that there's one thing Donald Trump would never be able to do if he became president. Thanks to a breaking report, smug Obama was just forced to embarrassingly eat his words. Despite his claim that he never had a scandal, Obama's two terms saw the former community organizer trafficking guns to Mexican drug cartels, using the IRS to target political opponents, and commissioning the DOJ to spy on conservatives, among many other illegalities. However, perhaps one of the most cringeworthy moments in his presidential career was when he was confronted by angry blue-collar workers who had lost their jobs thanks to his destructive policies. Undeniably blemishing but he narcissistically lauded as an exemplary presidential epic, Obama was essentially mum on his devastating unemployment rate and rising loss of American jobs. Of course, indignant and destitute out-of-workers weren't about to let the serpent-tongued leader get away with patting himself on the back, which led to an uncomfortable confrontation during a question-and-answer session on PBS News or in June 2016. During the event, a former employee of Carrier Corp and representative for the Steelworkers Union grilled Obama, demanding to know why all the jobs in his field of work are leaving. Expectedly, Obama didn't offer an answer but selfishly seized the opportunity to bash then-presidential candidate Donald Trump for vowing to bring back those lost jobs. When somebody says, like the person you just mentioned who I'm not going to advertise for, Obama began referring to Donald Trump, according to the Gateway Pundit, that he's going to bring all these jobs back, well, how exactly are you going to do that? What are you going to do? There's, uh, uh, no answer to it. He just says, I'm going to negotiate a better deal. Well, how? How exactly are you going to negotiate that? What magic wand do you have? And usually, the answer is, he doesn't have an answer. Unfortunately for Obama, he's once again proved to be a lying narcissist as the latest ADP report just confirmed that Trump just set a record in November for the highest number of manufacturing jobs ever created since the report began in 2002. Charles Payne of Fox Business broke the monumental news on Wednesday, praising Trump's accomplishment, which Obama had called impossible. Incredibly, Trump's winning didn't end there. In an obvious move to make America great again, the report also confirms that the national employment rate for the private sector has increased by a whopping 190,000 jobs in November alone. Subsequently, small businesses' employees are up 50,000 while mid-sized and large businesses are boasting a 99,000 and 41,000 employee increase respectively for the month. Of course, this isn't the only report that's delivered a humiliating blow to Obama's ego. The annual report also shows that the biggest dip in non-farm private employment occurred in 2009, which is almost at the exact same time in Obama's first term that Trump has now reached in his first term. The decrease was disastrously large, especially in comparison with the other presidencies. This achievement perfectly sums up the biggest differences between Trump and Obama. Although Trump's economic success could easily be attributed to his flair for business, it would be a grave error to forget his love for his country. While Obama often besmirched the U.S. in an effort to pacify enemy nations and dangerous economic rivals, Trump truly evokes a presidency that values America and its prosperity. This is what happens when you hire a strong, America-loving business professional who still believes that the U.S. is the greatest nation on earth versus a community organizer and underhanded lawyer who despises our country's values, success, and people. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Mad World News. News.